So that's what he's going to do. It has to make two because that's two bonding sites. So we can make two single bonds or one double bond. All right. That's oxygen's family. Let's look at nitrogen's family now. Nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five valence electrons. So how many bonding sites does it have? One, two, three, right? So it has three bonding sites and one lone pair. All right? Three bonding sites and one lone pair. Now, there's three different ways you can bond. The first is all single. So if it makes all single bonds, all right, that's called trigonal pyramidal, all right, because you got nitrogen, it's got the lone pair on top, and that's like a pyramid. Okay, we're just gonna do it with hydrogen so I don't have to draw a bunch of dots. All right, it's gonna look like that. So if you, if you wanna see what it looks like with sticks and balls, it's gonna look like that. All right, it has a lone pair on top right here, and then it's got, it's pushing the, the bonds down. So it looks like that. So it's, a, it's like a pyramid shape. Like bent, I told you before, it looks like this. All right, so this is bent, this is trigonal pyramidal. All right, now, so that's, that's a way, with all single bonds, that'd be NH3, ammonia, all right, it would be trigonal pyramidal, all right? I should have written this, okay, this is OF2, this is O2, all right? So there you go for that. Now, how else can we make three bonds? Well, it could do a double bond. What family is it gonna double bond with? Oxygen family, because remember, oxygen's happy with eight, right? Where it has to make two bonds. Two bonds right there, a double bond, boom, it's happy. Nitrogen has to bond one more time though, so then a hydrogen or halogen. So you'll see that, it'll be you know, H, N, and O. All right, that's a double bond to oxygen and a single bond to hydrogen. Or if it was a halogen, you could have F out there, it'd be the same thing, all right? Because single bonds are gonna be hydrogens and halogens, double bonds, oxygens. The other way it could bond, so that's, that's one double, and one single bond. All right, the other way is one triple bond. Now, how would it make a triple bond? Well, this is the, the drawing this way, so you can see it. You got this hydrogen, you got this nitrogen. All right, so it's going to have one lone pair, and it's gonna share one pair, share two pairs, share three pairs of electrons. If it does that, it has two, four, six, eight. This one has two, four, six, eight. Okay, you want eight total. So you just count up. Each stick represents two. So one, two, three, yep. So six plus two is eight. Now, how do we draw that without making it that big? You draw three sticks between it. And then nitrogen's family has one lone pair. All right, so that's a triple bond. So nitrogen can bond three different ways. All single, a double and a single, or a one triple. All right, any question on that? It's called trigonal pyramidal. So that's the geometry, the Vesper geometry. All right, the last family we're gonna talk about is carbon. Now carbon okay, has four valence electrons. And that's why carbon, there's a whole branch of chemistry called organic chemistry that's just carbon chemistry because it can bond so many different ways. All right, if it has four valence electrons, how many bonding sites does it have? Four. It has four bonding sites. That means it has to make four bonds. It has to, to be stable. It has zero lone pairs. All right, so what are the ways that you can make four bonds, okay? Well, it can make four single bonds. And if it makes four single bonds, that geometry is called tetrahedral. All right, and that looks like this. Four single bonds is called a tetrahedral. So it's kind of like the pyramidal, except instead of having a lone pair on top, it has a bond on top now, all right? And all these geometries, everything's equal distance apart. I think it's 105, 104.5 degrees or something like that, all right? So that is a tetrahedral right there. So I can draw it like this. So 
but it's carbon, obviously you're hydrogen, so I don't have to, you're all orange. All right, so that's a tetrahedral. What's another way it could bond? Four times. How about two double bonds, right? What family is it gonna form double bonds with? Oxygen family. Well, that's a pretty famous molecule right there. What is that? Carbon dioxide, right? Now, what's another way it could bond? It could make, now I have to make four total. So I've got four single, I've got two double. What about a triple? And what family is gonna form a triple bond with? Nitrogen family, right? And then a single with either a hydrogen or a halogen. So that's HCN, that's cyanide right there. Don't take that, no. All right, and then uh, what's another way? How about one double and two single, right? So that'd be H2CO, all right? So two single, one double, that's four bonds. It has that four sticks, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think that's it. I don't think you can do another one. So that'd be, that's the four different ways that carbon can bond right there. All right, now obviously it can bond with, anytime it's a single bond, it could bond with a halogen too, right? Anything that's a triple bond could be anything in nitrogen's family. So nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic. Anything that's a double bond could be oxygen, selenium, chlorium. Anything in nit oxygen's family. Yeah, question. The one that's the most electronegative will be to the right. And the one that has the most bonding sites will be in the middle. All right? So hydrogens and hydrogens will, will always start because it's the least electronegative. So if I'm naming that, it would be HCN because hydrogen's the least electronegative, right? And carbon's my central atom. Now, if I'm naming this, or I'm writing the formula for this, it's CH4, only because we, that's an H4C, we don't write it that way. I don't know why I'm just saying. All right, but you'll see. I mean, 99% of the time, they're going to be written correctly for you, so you don't have to write them. You just have to draw them and, and do the geometry. All right, so quick review on the geometries. All hydrogens are going to make single bonds. Okay, a single bond is just straight across, and that is linear. All halogens can only make single bonds. How do I know that? It only has one bonding site. If you only have one bonding site, you can only make single bonds. Now, oxygen's family, okay, it has two bonding sites, so it can make a double bond, all right? Two, two bonds, like that, okay? Two bonding sites, you can make one double bond or it can make two single. If it makes two single, that geometry is called bent, so this would be one double bond, and all double bonds are linear, okay? And then that is bent, and that looks like that. All right, then nitrogen, okay, it has three bonding sites, so it can make three single bonds, which is a trigonal pyramidal, like that, or it can make one double and one single, or it can make one triple, right? A triple bond look like that sharing three pairs of electrons, all right? Um, and if I do the one double and one single, it'll look like that, all right? And then the last one was carbon, all right? And that was our tetrahedral, all right? Because that's four bonding sites, so if it has four single bonds, tetrahedral, all right? It could make a triple bond and a single bond. So if this was carbon in the middle, and then this was nitrogen and this was hydrogen. It would look something like that. All right, and then it can make two double bonds, like that. All right, or it can make, let me say a double bond and two single bonds, like that. All right, so those are the different ways that they, they, those families can bond. Remember, those families are gonna bond like each other. So carbon and silicon are gonna bond the same way. And then just quick review, single bonds, longest and weakest, double bonds, middle length, middle strength, triple bonds, shortest and strongest, all right?